playing a bigger game. So how do you play a bigger game in life? Like we all have goals. The problem is that a lot of us can quit on those goals. Why do we quit? We quit because we don't believe we can achieve those goals. But what I've found in life is that when you set a new goal, when you play a bigger game, when you decide you're gonna play a much bigger game than you've been playing, it doesn't matter what age you decide that. Like Ray Kroc from McDonald's started up that company when he was 60 years of age. Louise Hay from Hayes Publishing became the biggest publisher in the world of new age and spirituality books. And she began that company in her 60s. You can do whatever you decide at whatever period of life you're at. So whether you're 18 and you just finished school and you decide, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna play a bigger game. See, we're conditioned not to do that. We're conditioned to get a little bit of improvement. Like I'm getting 70s in my marks at school, but if I get 75 or 80, that's gonna be awesome. What if you got 160? What if you got 100% every single time? Now you may say your mind immediately is gonna go, oh, that's impossible, Brett. But let me give you an example, right? If you decide you're gonna set a goal, let's say you've got a business and you might be turning over half a million dollars a year, and you hope this year you're gonna do 550. What if you don't make that goal? More than likely, you're probably gonna do, you know, 520 or 530. But if you set a goal, I'm gonna do $2 million this year, and then you start thinking about allowing your mind to go to, if you ask the question, so step number one is set what seems like a completely unrealistic goal. And then you're gonna ask yourself the question, if I set that goal, what do I need to do to make that happen? If I'm doing half a million dollars a year this year, what do I need to do to reach that goal? So with a client in Los Angeles, almost exactly those sorts of figures, right? He's doing around half a million dollars. But there's a whole pile of things stopping him, even in just mindset, considering it would be possible to do a million and a half. But working on the background stuff that's stopping him from doing that, changing his mindset, changing his emotions, changing his patterns, he's able to go from half a million dollars to $1.5 million in one single year. Simply because he set a goal of, let's set it for three million. And if I don't make it, even if I make only half of that, I'm still gonna be doing one and a half million dollars. But the mindset and what you need to do to do $3 million is completely different to the mindset and the very thing that you need to do to reach 520 or even 550. That's got to make sense to you, right? If I'm going to go from half a million to 550, okay, I don't really need to try that hard. I'm probably only going to talk to maybe two clients a week to achieve that. Or, you know, I've got to post two pieces of content up onto social media. Or I've got to reach out to five people that I know. All those things get you a 10% increase. To get you a three times increase, you're gonna to have to be talking to like 20 clients a week. You're gonna to have to reach out to clients that you've already dealt with in the past that you no longer do business with. You're gonna to have to make more phone calls than you ever made before. You're gonna to have to hire someone to handle your production and take care of invoicing, stuff that you never even considered before. But Brett, how can I do that? I don't have the money to employ somebody. No, you gotta go and get the money first. Get the money first. How do you do that? You gear up in your sales. You gear up in what you're doing. You see a bigger picture and you play a bigger game. And you will get the results. And maybe, maybe you wanna play a bigger game in your marriage. What do you do there? You talk to your wife more. You spend more time with her. You take her out on more date nights. You buy her nice flowers. You do all sorts of stuff like that, that make her closer to you. So you're playing a bigger game. I wanna play a bigger game, Brett, in my kids. Awesome, spend more time with them. Talk to them, inspire them. Get them to watch videos like this. Help them play a bigger game in their own life and you'll play a bigger game in their life. That's what it's about. That's how you play a bigger game. Step number one, set a ridiculous goal. Step number two, 
ask yourself the question, what do I need to do to play that bigger game? Those questions that make you think about, okay, I'm gonna play that, but now to reach that impossible goal, what am I gonna do? That alone will help you do it. And lastly, confidence. If you allow that voice of doubt, if you allow that voice of your ego in your head to come up, I promise you there's no way that that's gonna happen. And where does confidence come from? It comes from you working on yourself. It comes from you removing the doubts. It comes from understanding the difference between who you really are and that voice of doubt in your head and where that voice is coming from. It's probably coming from that school teacher, right? That told you you'd be useless, that you'd never make it. Or maybe it's coming from those people that you hang around with, that every time you try and break out and become more, they tell you, they say to you, hey, don't try that, man, that's just way too hard. Like, that's an impossible. There's no way you can go from half a million dollars to 1.5. It's impossible. What do you think people said to me when I was 21 years of age and I said I'm gonna be a millionaire? What do you think they said to me? They said, that is ridiculous. What do you think they said to me when I bought my first BMW and I was just 22 years of age? Who do you think you are? Are you up yourself or what? What do you think they said when I started doing 20, 30 million dollar deals? They couldn't believe it. But you know what? By that stage, I wasn't hanging around those people anymore. I started to hang around with people that were doing 100 million dollar deals. I started mixing with people that were doing billion dollars. They were billionaires. And I learned from them. I saw what they were doing. And as you make that shift inside yourself, we start mixing with those people. You start realizing we're all the same. They've just acquired skills that I didn't have at that time, but I learned those skills. That's what gives you confidence. But you've also got to look at the stuff inside of you, that voice of doubt, if you listen to it, it will stop you. So stop listening to the voice of doubt. It ain't gonna get you there. The voice of confidence taking calculated risks, setting that goal for $3 million. So what if you don't make it? Big deal. You'll make a hell of a lot more than you're making right now because you're asking bigger questions, you're taking much bigger steps in every area of your life. If you're not fit, if you're not buff, what do you need to do to get there? How do you double up on that? Because if you're just looking to improve your diet or maybe get a little bit of muscle tone, there's no way you're gonna get a six pack at age 60. It ain't gonna happen. But if you set yourself a goal, if you watch stuff on The Rock or you watch Arnie Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone or anyone else that inspires you and go, okay, how are they doing that? How did they get there? How did they make that happen? You know, Rock's up at four o'clock in the morning working out. So he can fit an hour of workout time in a day and he has a set regime every single day to do that. You don't have that, you can't get that result. It's that simple. But the engine that drives that is your mindset, is the questions that you ask and the confidence that you have to go out there and make that happen. This stuff works but it ain't gonna work if you don't do it. So make a choice, go out there, double up on what you're doing. The results will be outstanding because everyone around you is too frightened and too conditioned by culture, role models, and things that have happened to them that stop them from doing that. Don't let that be you. You want a better marriage? Reach out, spend some time, spend some money, and you'll get a better marriage. You wanna double up in your kingdom around money and business and wealth and investing for a future? It ain't hard. Reach out, get some advice. That's exactly what I've done. All these things add up to you doubling and tripling up on what you're doing. Go out there, warrior, and make it happen.